Hey guys, it's Mrs. Applebar, and um, I just am here on this amazing day doing chapter 10, section 7, areas of circles and sectors. So the first thing that we're going to do is recall what the area of a circle is. So please write that down. Area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. So let's do a quick example of that formula. So when you have pi times the radius squared, in this situation, they gave us a diameter. So we need to cut that in half to find that the radius is going to equal pi. So it's pi, area equals pi, times the radius squared. 5 times 5 is 25, and a lot of times we just let the pi chill. Sometimes we'll say, um, leave your answers in terms of pi. So you just let it hang out, 25 pi. Other times we are going to be uh, multiplying them on our calculator. So that will look like 25 times pi. Um, every scientific calculator that I've ever come across has a pi button, so go ahead and use it. It's uh, it makes life easier and it saves the rounding. So um, the area is approximately 78.5. And both of those units are inches squared. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at, we don't want the whole circle, we just want a piece of this pie. We just want a section of it. So the area of a sector of a circle, just the little pie, is the measure of the arc, so whatever this angle measure is here, divided by 360 and then times it by the area of the circle. So area of the sector A, O, B, because we should put that in there, is the measure of this arc, whatever angle that ends up being, divided by 360 and then times it by pi r squared. Okay, let's look at some four examples. FOR examples, not quantity for examples. Okay, so here we have a radius of 4 and a central angle of 80. Remember, the central angle and the measure of the arc are the same thing. So we set up our little um, equation. The area is equal to whatever angle measure we have divided by 360 times pi r squared. So, um, 80 over 360, I've been really loving my calculator tool that does fractions for me. Okay, so 80 divided by 360, when you reduce that fraction, um, reduces to 2 ninths. So then we put all this together and we get... Um, 4 squared is 16, 2 times 16 is 32, 9, and the pi kind of just chills there. Um, so you may be asked to leave your answer in um, without multiplying the pi through, or um, we may have to multiply, so 32 pi divided by 9, and our calculator is approximately 11.2 square feet. This is also square feet. Okay, let's try it again. Um, our arc measure, so this time we have a central angle, the next time this for B we have the arc, So it, but it goes the same. It is whatever angle they give, whether it's the arc or the central angle and divided by 360, and then pi times the radius squared. 24 um, over
over 360 reduces to 1 over 15. Um, 14 squared is 196 over 15 pi. And then um, if we put that, and that's, um, there's no units on here. 196 divided by 15 pi. We get approximately 41.1 what square. Alrighty. Easy peasy, right guys? Alright, so now we're going to, so I know it's a lot of S's, um, a, a lot of the S sounds, so it's area of a circle, area of a sector, sector is a piece of the circle, and then area of a segment, so we're going to take the area of a sector and the area of the triangle, minus them out, and then that will give us this area of a segment of our um, circle. So um, we are two worlds colliding here. Um, so let's take a look at um, our example problem. We want to find the area of this sector. So we are going to have to find our segment. So we're going to have to find the area of the sector and the area of the triangle, this um, triangle here, and that's going to give us our area for our segment. So let's do um, area of a sector first. It is going to be 60 degrees divided by 360 times pi r squared. 60 divided by 360 um, is 1 sixth. 18 squared, I don't have that one memorized, is 324. And 324 divided by 6 is 54. So the area of the sector is 54. Now we have the area of the triangle. Um, let me draw the triangle so that you guys can see it. This is 60. This is a radius here. Goes from A, C to A. And then this is also a radius. So they're the same measures. It goes from C to B. So, um, with that said, if you have 60 degrees, these two angles are congruent. So these base angles have to also be congruent. And what is going to happen is they're going to take, if you take 180, you give this angle here 60 degrees. Whatever is left gets divvied up amongst these two other angles. So we divide that by 2. And we go, oh, it's 60 degrees. Oh my goodness, this is an equilateral triangle. What? And the side length is 18. Yeah, okay. So, um, to find the equilateral triangle, um, we've done this several times. Um, we throw this down. We know that the area is one half the base, which is 18. So the rule of, so we've cut this guy in half. It's a 30, 60, 90. That's a terrible 18. How dare you let me write that? So 30, 60, 90 says we take our short side, which is half of 18. And so our heart, our height is 9 root 3. So area of a triangle, 1 half the base times the height. The height is 9 root 3. And we shove that in our calculators. Well, I can do this. 
Um, half of 18 is 9. 9 times 9 is 81. This is 81 root 3. Okay, so we've got all of our pieces. Let's put them together. Area of a sector is 54 pi minus the area of that triangle, which is 81 root 3, is equal to the area of the segment. Now, if you were, if they were asking you to keep your number, your numbers um, as a without multiplying it through, it would look exactly like this. I can't push together anything with um, a pi and then with a root three, so it just lands like this. If they're asking you like round to the nearest tenth, let me show you on the calculator how that goes. We just go 54 pi minus 81 root 3 equals 29.3 and that would be square inches. So that gives you the area of just this little snippet here off the section. So all that stuff we did with finding the area of triangles, um, we are going to use that in this instance to find the area of the segment. So don't forget, uh, don't forget 10.6. It was a real thing. It happened. All right, you guys, take a moment um, or a few moments. Complete the 10-7 practice on page 663, numbers 7 through 29 odd and 42 through 48. Uh, come back here so that and check your answers after you try each problem. All right, thanks. Have a great day.